open up your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 5, please. Isaiah chapter 5, and we'll look at verse 8. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 8. The Bible says, In the last days there will be doctrines of devils, 1 Timothy chapter 4. And the Bible also says that we are not to be ignorant of Satan's devices, as 2 Corinthians chapter 2. So it's important to know that in the last days, what Satan's trying to do in our world to uh, corrupt our day and age today. So we see right here that in the Bible that God hates cities at Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 8. Notice right here, Woe unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field, till there be no place, that they may be placed alone in the midst of the earth. So notice right here, God, He hates it when houses and buildings are joined together. And when they are joined together, buildings join together. That there's hardly what? Field, space in between. So when things are joined together and hardly their space, the Lord says, whoa. That would probably explain maybe why San Francisco Bay Area and Silicon Valley is probably spiritually wicked. Yeah. I don't know. Just something that's to good. think about. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's why. And maybe that's why living conditions are so expensive over here. Well, by their fruits ye shall know them. Go to Genesis <laughs> chapter 4. Genesis chapter 4. And we'll look at verse 17. Genesis chapter 4. We'll look at verse 17. You might say, well, how did this start, Pastor? It started out through one of Satan's children, Cain. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he was of that wicked one. So he was uh, considered to be the first lost person, spiritually lost person, child of the devil. And as a child of the devil of that wicked one, Cain, he built the first city. Genesis chapter 4, and we'll read verse 17 here. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch, and he builded a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son, Enoch. So you'll notice right here, Cain is the first person to build the city, the first city that is built. Now what's really interesting right here is how God would do things. Go to Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21. Now, why are you driving out here, Pastor? I'm going to show you something. Cities is not supposed to be a sin. You might say, well, I thought you say that's a bad thing. Yeah. Why is it a bad sin? Because Satan's trying to copycat God. God's the one who has the holy city. Mm -hmm. But Satan, see, he always wants to imitate and become like God. Mm -hmm. So because he wants to imitate and become like God, why do you think Satan had Cain build the first city? Mm -hmm. Because Satan wants to prepare his own place, mm -hmm. like God had prepared a place. Mm -hmm. Look at Revelation chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21. God has a city. But you'll notice the difference with man's city versus the holy city. There's a difference right here. This is from man. Man made. Not God made. This is God made. Look at Revelation chapter 21 and we'll read verse 2. It's New Jerusalem. And I saw, and I, John, saw, notice, holy city... New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, adorned for a husband. So notice right here that the Bible says that John saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, and there's something different with something holy. If it's holy, there's nothing wrong with the city. But the thing is, is that with man's city, do you think it will tend toward holiness or toward sin? sin. Tend toward sin. Think about it, church. When you're gathered with a bunch of believers and you're joined close together and not distant far apart, does that produce more holiness or more wickedness? It produces more holiness, right? It produces encouragement, cleanness. It discourages sin. That's the reason why heaven's a great place because we're all around each other. Mm -hmm. And that's going to uh, create even more pure holiness. But if you have man at his, man himself at his own sinful state, being close together, what do you think is going to happen? It encourages more sin. That's why city life, when you go to the cities, there is more sin in cities than in the country. That's why there is wickedness. Look at verse 22. 22. 
There's something interesting here. And I saw, is there a temple? No temple there. For why? The Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the what? The temple. temple of it. Okay, here's something interesting. God makes the city. But isn't it interesting that with the holy city, it also creates a holy body or a holy state? It seems like that when there is a holy city, it does something with your body as well. There's a holy body. There's a connection with, it could be, a city, a habitation with people's bodies. Where are you driving at, Pastor? Well, what I'm driving at is this, is that go to Jude chapter 1. Jude chapter 1. Let me show you something here. What did the fallen angels do? The sons of God, those fallen angels, what they did... <clears throat> was that they left their own habitation to come down on the earth. And when they came down on this earth, who did they mingle with? They mingled with humans. They left their own abode. They left their place, and as a result of leading, leaving their place, what happened to their body? It changed. There was a transformation. Remember, angels cannot marry. Why? In heaven. Angels in heaven cannot marry. Mm -hmm. But when they were on earth at Genesis 6, <clears throat> there was a transformation made. They lost their heaven-bound state and, and became more earth-bound. Mm. Now go to Jude 1, verse 6. <clears throat> they left their own habitation, their own place. Because they desired something more. They saw a different promise. They want to mingle with the humans and create their own empire, their own world order. Look at Jude 1 verse 6. And the angels which kept not their first estate. Look at that. So their own state, see, their own abode, their body, how they first had it. But left their what? Own habitation. See that? While leaving the place. He had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Here's the thing right here. It seems to be that when you go from one place to another, there's a transformation of the body to another type of body. You might say, how do you believe that, Pastor? Because you can't go to heaven mm -hmm. until this body turns to dust. And you have a new kind of body. And you have a new kind of state. That can go to eternity. And that's what happens when you transform here on earth. Alright, let's look at some other passages. Let's look at Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14. Here's the idea. God, He created the heaven and the earth. And He wanted everyone to live happily ever after with Him. And He promised them a holy city. But there was one being who didn't like His method. And said, you know what, I can be like God. And I can be like God, and I can make my own kingdom. Mm -hmm. I can make my own city. Mm -hmm. And I can have, uh, and I offer to you, with, with this new city, a new kind of body. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a different kind of estate and a different kind of city. This is the promise that I offer to you. As Jesus has once offered, in my Father's house are many mansions, if it were not so... I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. So as Jesus Christ has promised his saints to prepare a place for us, Satan does the same thing with his fallen beings. Which is why, when these fallen angels came down on the earth, what happened? They wanted to create their own kind of bodies. They mingled with the humans, and thus you resulted with Nephilim, mutants, and all kinds of weird creatures. Where later myths talked about centaurs, mermaids, and etc. Mm -hmm. And then not only that, <clears throat> not only did they have their own kind of race, see, it's a new kind of race you're creating. Body change, race. I'm going to make my own race, says the devil. But not only that, I'm going to make my own city, which is why you got these pyramids that connect to the right star and constellation. And it connects to the names of these false gods later on, Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, etc. 
They were making a home. They were making their own home. And God saw wickedness was great upon the earth. So he drowned it all out with the flood. They were creating their own thing. But guess what? Mankind's trying to do it again in the future. One day when the Antichrist comes down here on the earth, what are they doing? They're creating their own kind of race. Yeah. It's not man and woman. They're like, what, five, seven, ten, one hundred different uh, sexual identities you can go for. Mm -hmm. yeah, there true. are girls who just love to be bitten by vampires one day. Uh -huh. People watch too many alien movies and Superman, yeah, and they yeah. think that those guys can be the good guys one day. Uh -huh. And then God will be the bad guy who will take away their kingdom. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Who will destroy their kingdom. You can't destroy our one world government, new world order, one world kingdom, Preach. our tower of Babel, that's why God split them off again. You can't do that, God. We're going to defend our own race. Man at his full rebellious state, doing their own kingdom, their own race, and they rejected what God has offered to them. Their kind of race, and not only that, their kind of place. Look at Isaiah 14. Look at Satan, what he was thinking when he rebelled. See, he wanted his own thing, his, one, his own gig. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, look what he was thinking, folks. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. See that? Satan, what does he want to do? He wants to go up. Mm -hmm. Look, he's not, just, he's not just making a kingdom here on earth. You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to get these people to go across the universe, across the firmament, and conquer the third heaven. That's what he wants to do. He wants to take over God's holy city. That's his ultimate plan. He wants his throne above right here. Mm -hmm. But because God kicked him out, Satan has to build his little empire here on earth first. Mm -hmm. So he's building this little empire, and you notice how it matches with Isaiah 14. Look at the pyramids. I will ascend, ascend. See that? Where it's pointing. Where is it pointing? Where is it pointing? I will ascend, ascend. And then during these pagan days, they just have to make it a little bit more advanced, you know? I will ascend. Here you go, the empire state building, right? You know, mm -hmm. I will ascend, I will ascend. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. That's why you got these big buildings going on. They want to go up, up, up. Then you have to put a steeple just to make it better, to make it even taller. Mm -hmm. I will ascend. I will ascend. That's why they have these weird little things where they have so-called satellites flying around, right? Mm. I will ascend. I will ascend. I will ascend. I will ascend. He's making his own little kingdom. Now look at right here at 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 2 Corinthians 5. I'm surprisingly, I have a lot of verses here, so I'm going to have to skip some. But look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I'm going to have to skip some of these nuggets. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you this. Isn't it interesting that Satan, that he promised them a new place and then also a new body, a new race? Yeah. And because of that, why do you think that it's very interesting how devils, what, what did, where do they inhabit their habitation? Bodies. Mm -hmm. People's bodies. They make their own habitation mm -hmm. in the body. Hmm. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. What did the Bible call us when we change our bodies? He called it a new tabernacle, mm -hmm. new place. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved. We have a what? Building of God. A house not made with hands. Notice, eternal in the heavens. Look at this. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon. See, our body change. With what? We're going to be clothed with what? Our house which is in heaven. Clothing. That's why God, in Revelation chapter 21, it says no what? Temple. There's no temple. Why? Because God makes up the temple. We make up the house as well. But isn't it interesting, that's why in Revelation chapter 21, it talks about New Jerusalem being the wife of Jesus, 
And then when we look at Ephesians chapter 5, the Christian church is known to be the wife of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yep. So the location is likened with us. It's assimilated with us. Just like Satan wants to do it. But that's why it makes sense. It's very interesting that some of these certain stars and so-called planets, he would take the names after these fallen angels. Mm -hmm. Certain habitations would take after the name of the fallen sons of God. It's very interesting. There's a connection, there's an assimilation with the body and the place. So when they, I do know this for a fact, when there is a change of place, there is a change within the body. How's your body doing day by day, <laughs> folks? If Satan starts to inhabit in there, there's a certain change going on. Mm -hmm. Got to keep a guard on. How many can live in, how many devils can make their habitation here? Legion, Mark 5, thousands. And what does Satan promise them? How low they fell, right? How low they fell? What does Satan promise to them? I'm going to give you a new place, and we're going to have a new body, new race. How low they fell. How low they fell. This is the wicked, perverted, corrupted mind of Satan and the wicked ones now. Of a new body and a new place. That's why... In our wicked, filthy world, you see a lot of corruption. Mm -hmm. A lot of corruption. A location is affected by a certain type of person. A certain type of body of individuals you get.